which is going to be by an Indian Railway Traffic Service Officer, currently working as a Director, OP and BD at TFCCIL. He holds a Master's Degree in Agriculture Economics from the Indian Agriculture Research Institute, New Delhi. Prior to joining DFCCIL, he served as Group B Officer at the Reserve Bank of India. He, ha he has also held various key positions in the Indian Railways, such as Chief Passenger, of, uh, Chief Passenger Transportation Manager and Chief Traffic Planning Manager of Southern Western Railway, Hubli. Additionally, he has worked, worked as Executive Director, Fuel Transportation at NT, NTPC. Executive Director Coal Movement at the Singreni Collieries Company Limited and General Manager of IRCTC in Hyderabad. So we're going to have a presentation by Mr. Nanduri Srinivas, Director, OP and BD at DFCCIL. Can we have him on the stage, please, with a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. I know it's slightly end of the day, so I'll try to be as brief as possible. So to set the tone very quickly, I'll uh, be as brief as possible. Uh, basically, I'm privileged to present uh, one of the most iconic projects of uh, Indian Railways, which has been embarked upon. Uh, this is the dedicated freight corridor corporation. We have basically uh, arisen out of the need for creating the line capacity and meet the unmet demand which has been existing in India because of the congestion. And the congestion is uh, amplified by seeing the statistics that about 16% of this route carries about 52% of the passengers and 58% of the freight traffic. So, and because of this unmet demand and lack of uh, our ability to meet this demand, we are now slipping in the logistics performance index, though having the fourth largest network. And the model share of the Indian railways has been dropping. Now we have uh, been created in 2006 onwards, we have been created and 14 onwards the construction work has started. And we have now completed almost 73% of the project. This is various stages which are seen. As you can see from uh, Sonnagar in east to Ludhiana, it is eastern DFC. And Dadri to JNPT is the western DFC. We are completing almost uh, entire thing except the last part that is JNPT connection, which will be slipping into the next year. Rest of the project, uh, project is getting completed by December 23 and we will have uh, a sort of a paradigm shift in the logistics once this completion happens. This is the financial year-wise completion of and uh, commissioning of this. So we have come to almost 73% of the uh, project commissioned. You can see the number of trains which have been increasing over a period. There is a phenomenal increase. Today we are now almost running almost 200 trains every day, thereby accruing almost every year we are taking about 194 million GTKMs on a daily basis. Now we are looking at uh, in increasing the originating earning in this particular section. If you look at the variation, it is always in double digits for the sidings which are connected to DFC. And similarly, we have, if you look at uh, the CMLK and CPFS, these two terminals which have been connected, the growth in terms of percentage is phenomenal. We have innovated to some extent going into the system of mobile freeway bins which are supposed to be reducing the losses in terms of the loading at the, for the bulk commodities. We made a small estimate of how much will be the losses incurred. It's almost for every wagon there was an underloading of about two, two tons, which will accumulate to almost about 100 tons per rake. And that will be accruing, imagine the logistics people who are involved, you can imagine for every rake if there is a hundred tons underloading and to some extent overloading penalties, the cost to the customer has been about two lakhs. Now, this is what we wanted to prevent. 
we are now going in for this preway bins in on uh, test basis in our stations these are some of the business development areas which have been planned we are now going ahead and preparing gati shakti cargo terminals in our area the idea is that we will be able to generate about 163 million tons of originating traffic because of the dfc estimate this is the dfc influence area what we will be generating will be about existing facilities will be taking over about 122 million tons will be increased and new terminals will be creating about 60 million tons of originating traffic so this will provide so much of business opportunities for people what is possible to do is that we are trying to bring in some other innovative strategies like trucks on train road railers swap bodies some triple stack container cube containers we are also looking at the development of d2d model with which we uh, look forward to having lot of aggregators this is one business which has gone out of indian railways fold so this is what we are looking at cap capturing what is our strength that is faster and assured transit we just now had somebody caught talking about uh, assurances reliability now so far we are now able to dispel the myths associated with the freight trains movement that is uncared for unfocused and lack of time table or assured transit time we are now getting ahead uh, ahead of that time and then we are providing a sort of assured transit reliability with respect to time and the throughput then we are also establishing the terminals in a uncongested area which will create a free movement of freight and then opportunity to develop the new freight terminal infrastructure from scratch so no legacy issues and also we are now providing some of the available land parcels for developing the multimodal logistics parks these are the business opportunities which we are talking about the other area which we talk about is the blue ocean strategy wherein we are talking about capturing the traffic which has hitherto been not going in indian indian railways fold if you look at the total market of logistics we are capturing only about 25% rest 75% is not in the fold because of constraints of size as well as the tariff class structure so we would like to break these shackles how we are now looking at capacity speed quality of services it packaging we would like to bring in certain things like small unit freight trains emu freights then class neutral tariffs based on quantity and distance offered and transit assurances so we are looking at the marginal casting method in this some of the non conventional revenue stream streams which we are talking about when we talked about non conventional revenue or non conventional traffic it has been defined as 0.25% traffic if you look at it majority of the white goods are not in the railway fold encouraging this traffic has been our motto now we are looking at first mile and last mile service providers and hub aggregators which gives enormous business opportunities for people engaged in this e-commerce firms are now coming on to our fold so local merchants by aggregation and local produce dispatches is the key and it also is in line with the government of india's thinking of encouraging local products in terms of one district one product scheme we are also looking at uh, some of the real estate development in the model of uh, japanese railway all the stations are open for advertisement or adoption now we have also got uh, possibilities of dark fiber monetization and renewable energy development some of the schemes which we have mentioned here some of the monetization and business development which we are looking at is mentioned here particularly the gati shakti cargo terminals all across the dfc alignment we are looking at something around 10 gcts in this year and about four multimodal logistics parks thank you all right so to felicitate him can we have uh, let me tell you can we have shri s shivamathun here on the stage do we have him 
Can we have Ajit sir here on the stage, please? <laughs>